Okay, you guys, let me know if that's any better. I had my iPads out. Okay. Um, all right, so I just refreshed. Let me know if that's any better. I had my, I said iPads, AirPods out, and I think that was messing it up. So we should be, okay. Thank you, Maria. Okay. Sorry, got y'all. Every time when I'm not here, I, can't, I think about how I can make this so wonderful and such a pleasant experience, and then stuff like that happens. Apologies, but let me start by introducing myself. Hi, I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher today. Welcome to class. I see we've got some scholars in the house. Mona is present. Monique is present. Amethyst is present. Sophia is present. Um, so glad that you guys are here. I'm just a mom. I'm a boy mom times two. Um, I've been on a health and wellness journey my whole life. I've struggled with weight, but I finally found something that worked for me that works for me. For me, that was getting tested for food sensitivity, so that's my list back there on the fridge. I have a list of foods that I can have and a list of foods that I have to avoid. So for me, my test was a cheek swab on the inside and then some hair samples. So that's how I got the list of foods for, you know, for my body. All of the recipes that we do here on my YouTube channel, which is now turning to a cooking demonstration channel. Good morning, God's Girl. Y'all, we got another channel sponsor in the house. Um, but all of my recipes are food that, um, you know, I would cook for the family, uh, food that I actually want to eat. I just make substitutions, like I always say, for the foods that love me to the foods that, the foods that I used to... I, substitutes the, I substitute the foods I used to love for the foods that love me back. Y'all, it's Monday. Um, but yes, and Mona, I was going to ask you, so a couple housekeeping. Uh, I appreciate you all so much. Yes, the struggle is real. Maria, I know I'm struggle um, streaming sometimes, struggle cooking sometimes. Never seems to be a struggle to eat, though, you know. But um Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for coming to class. Absolutely. In my class, feel free to multitask. The live chat is the study hall. Feel free to pass notes, ask questions. Um, 
I eat twice a day and I go live when I'm cooking for myself. Um, you guys are here to hold me accountable so that I can age gracefully. Thank you so much for that. Um, I want to get the last bit of this weight off. <laughs> Y'all know my problem area, but um, I'm maintaining a 75 pound weight loss with at least 25 more to go. So you guys are here to hold me accountable. Okay, so Mona has dropped the link to her uh, kids have a YouTube channel. Um, I'm always telling you guys, if you have a business or a YouTube channel, uh, please put what you do in the comments and we'll pull it up on the screen. But I just thought of something. Does it allow you all to share links or is that only for the moderator? If you're unable to share links, let me know because I may be telling y'all to do something that you can't do. I don't know. Um, thank you, Mona. <laughs> oh, yes, life happens. Life happens. Um, so again, if you have a YouTube channel and you can't post the links, thank you so much, um, Mona. Um, if you can't post the links, put your YouTube channel name and just a quick little, you know, sentence about what people can find on your channel. I love this community that we're building. You all are here to support me, so I definitely want to support you any way that I can. I need to put my phone on Do Not Disturb because it's going to go off and I don't even know where it is, but we'll just keep going. Um, so yes, the Cash App. Um, some of you have asked how to support until I monetize, which we're on our way to 999 subscribers on um, YouTube. And when I get to a thousand, uh, eventually I'll be eligible for monetization. But some of you have asked how you can support. Never expected. Just you being here and helping the channel to grow makes my day. Yes, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Um, but if you do want to support, I do have a cash app. It's dollar sign M Brown. And what I'm doing up until the point that I monetize, if you choose to be, uh, a, you know, donate any amount, you know, even one time, you're a channel sponsor for life because you're helping me uh, to grow. So I'll pull up. Let's see. I do have, y'all know, and I'm hungry. I'm always doing all this. And then I'm like, yesterday was the fast, the egg fast, y'all. <laughs> I'm hungry. All right, but I do have a cash app. Uh, it's dollar sign M Brown. I do have a PayPal. I think it's Margaret A. Brown, but there's a QR code you can screenshot or scan. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying. There's a Venmo. I think same thing. Maybe Margaret Brown and then Zelle. And you have the last four digits uh, if needed. But again, completely optional. Thank you all for being here. And uh, we are going to get started. I think that's all the housekeeping. Oh, I did want to show you guys. Um, so I washed the apron. The Maggie merch, oh, y'all, another struggle. I'm working on it, but I just took it out of the dryer. So I want to put it on and see how it fits because my Costa Rican apron became like a kid's apron after one wash. All right, let's see. Where did I put it? So some of you all have asked for Maggie merch. So this was the reveal from yesterday. I have this apron and I have this cute little bit emoji. I thought it was cute. My son was like, anybody can do that, mom. Whatever. He's almost 15 and y'all already know. Um, so I got this apron made and I'll give you guys a little bit of an update, but I want to put it on after one wash and see, you know, how it is. I'm messing myself up already. Not bad. I didn't iron it. You know, it should be nice and starch like a proper restaurant, but I'm at home, y'all. Um, but it feels good. Again, this is just one wash. Um, oh, I'm missing the chat, y'all. Here I come. You love the apron, Sophia? Okay, it's cute. So here's the deal, y'all. I I made this, um, okay, one thing at a time, and I'm falling apart. All right, I'm working on Maggie merch for you guys. I agree, it's cute. It seems like it has washed well, so it's really sturdy, good quality. It does have an adjustable, um, I guess, neck loop or whatever, and, you know, ties in the back, and it says standard length. To me, 
and uh, I'm 5'7", so I'm a little bit above average height, but so definitely gives you coverage at the counter. It's got three pockets. Okay, so here's the deal, y'all. I thought I had created this store on Zazzle, but apparently it's not visible. I'm trying, y'all. I think I did it wrong. Here's the deal. So you create your own, and I just put this little bit emoji, and then I have Maggie the Substitute Teacher, and my plan was to make one that says Maggie the Substitute Teacher, one that says Maggie Scholar, because you all are my scholars, and then one without any words on it. And I think when you go to order on Zazzle, you can customize it yourself, put your name on it or whatever. I don't know. But, okay, so this bit mode, you can see it's like, I guess, the size of my hand. So it takes up this whole like abdomen section. So what I did, y'all know when you uh, order stuff and you do like photos and it gives you like the best resolution and then if you stretch it larger it gives you that error that says like we can't guarantee the quality it may be blurry or something like that i wanted it as big as i could get it hey good morning crystal light um i love that name this was as big as i could get it and i think it looks okay but when i stretch out the image this size it doesn't allow me to put it in the marketplace so I can buy it, but I can't sell it on the marketplace. Now, if you like this version and I think it's fine, if you want me to order one for you and just have it shipped to you, I'm totally fine to do that. It was $19.99. They do charge like eight bucks for shipping, but I'm kind of like, whatever. So under $30, like $27, $28, but they do have coupon codes sometimes. And it's Zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E. Um, but here's where we are with the Maggie merch. So I've ordered another apron. So I'm going to continue to use this and wear it. I think it's fine. The apron itself is good quality. They also have it in brown and they have it in yellow. So I ordered the white one just to see. And I like this, but uh, I've called their tech support, y'all. It's a whole thing. But I've ordered another one in brown because I think that would be better for like stains and stuff in the kitchen. And then I've ordered one at the resolution that does allow me to put it in the marketplace. So the Maggie Bitmoji will be smaller. I don't know how much smaller, but it's been shipped. I think it's on the way to me. So as soon as I get it, I will, um, you know, definitely wear it and show you guys. And we'll do a side by side. Um, so we'll see what it looks like for the marketplace and then for me. But if you guys like this, just inbox me and uh, I'm happy to drop ship you one. And then, you know, I could send you like a screenshot of what it looks like and you can approve it. While we're still small, I don't mind to do that because you all are my scholars. But, you know, as the channel grows, I definitely want to have like a Maggie merch store. Uh, right now it's just aprons, but they have a whole bunch of stuff. They have cutting boards. They have all this stuff, but I just got to get the logo right. Um, so that's the update on the apron. So I'm so glad that you guys uh, like it. All right. I think that's all of the housekeeping class. I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know if I need this for, um, eh, I probably should wear it. All right. So I'm going to clean up. Got a couple dishes in the sink. Going to wash my hands. I think I'll start with a coffee and then, um, yeah, it does. It takes a while to flush through it. You know, you guys, I don't mind if it's not perfect. I want for me, I want it to be perfect for you all. But um, if you, you know, if you like this design and if you go to my Instagram, Maggie, the substitute teacher, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms. Yesterday, I posted like a full length of me, you know, wearing <laughs> the apron so you can kind of see the dimensions. And uh, if you want it, let me know. Good morning, Uncle Stu. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, not sure if you're back home or still in New York, but we're so happy to have you. I'm happy to have everyone here. Uh, Uncle Stu has the honor of being the first uh, YouTuber, I guess, to interview me. He was so kind because I was a little nervous, y'all. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only three months old, um, but there's a great video of me. There's my phone. Okay, let me put it on Do Not Disturb. Oh my gosh. 
much. Um, there's a great video on uh, Uncle Stu's channel. So uh, Miss Mona, Mona, the moderator, if you would please uh, put Uncle Stu's channel in the chat. You guys can check him out and subscribe. Yes, he's back home. So uh, wonderful, wonderful for your safe uh, travels. Um, but yes, yeah, so happy that all of you all are here. Hello, Diary of Bell Rose. Thank you for being here. All right, got a couple dishes in the sink. I'm going to put those in the dishwasher. I'm going to wash my hands and get my ingredients out so I can try and make this. It's going to be an open face, but uh, I'm going to try and make my version of a Maggie McMuffin because I'm hungry. Oh, we'll start with coffee. Had one little pot that I was soaking so I just want to do a quick little scrub I love using the dishwasher y'all know that I grew up you know the daughter of African immigrants and they did not believe in the dishwasher or the air conditioning y'all can relate so I remember um, when I y'all know how we say when I get my own house I'm gonna use the dishwasher and I do I don't even rinse this dishwasher has a disposal so I just put everything in there oh thank you diary I love you being here thank you all so much but every once in a while you need to let it soak a little bit and just get in there so uh, oh that was from that crazy uh, poached scrambled egg yesterday I got inspired and tried a Food Network recipe was not a hit okay let me wash my hands oh you have more videos of me uncle Stu see I gotta get better about that I am a I'm a student of the lead attorney some of you all have followed the lead attorney excellent um, content creator very generous with his knowledge a former attorney who took up YouTube as a pandemic hobby and now he's doing amazing with it and teaching us how to get started and he talks about clipping the videos I need to get better about that honestly I'm thinking when the kids are out of school for the summer I may put the boys to work to try and clip because our chat and chow and our story time um, sometimes there's some really good content in there but I haven't done any clips yet all right, yes, please, if you like what I'm doing, thank you for the thumbs up and thank you for subscribing and thank you for joining Lumiere. I am a Scentsy consultant too. If you need any hand soap or home fragrance, I'm washing my hands. All right. So again, everything that I make here, you can make for the family. You could use full flavor ingredients. I'm always going to use the substitution ingredients, but because I'm trying to get the rest of this weight off, um, I used to be pre-diabetic. I used to have high, not high, it was borderline cholesterol and elevated blood pressure. All of that is normal now without medication because I've changed my diet. But as we age, you know, I'm 46, uh, as we age, I just thought, oh, this is a part of getting older and it doesn't have to be. So um, thank you so much. All right, so let's start. Oh, am I more hungry or thirsty? Gosh. All right, let me get my ingredients out and then I will um, walk you guys everything. Okay, Amethyst, I'm not sure what this means, but hopefully you can help me. I'm just making it up as I go and thinking what I want to put in it. <laughs> I think it's been so long since I've been through McDonald's drive-thru. I'm like, what do I get, right? 
jelly and this and that. All right, so I'm gonna do everything here. I'm gonna use my dash um, devices today. I'm going to use the griddle and I'm going to use the grill. Okay, link should be in the description. You all know these are a little sticky. I need to clean them. Y'all know that I'm a fan <laughs> of the Dash. Um, oh, you're fine, sweetheart. Clipping of the videos. Oh, yeah. Amethyst, look, Amethyst is my tech support and I'm paying her with meals. So just to put a little commercial out this Saturday afternoon, we'll see the time. I uh, got some stuff to do in the morning, but Amethyst is going to come over and I'm going to be cooking for her. Uh, she asked for chicken and rice and uh, we're going to do the Latin version, arroz con pollo, chicken and rice or rice with chicken. Um, so I'm going to be cooking that live and she's actually going to come over so y'all get to see her taste and um, what it looks like or what it tastes like. And the boys will be home this weekend. It's Mother's Day weekend, so I'm sure you'll get some good comedy with that. All right, so I have two Dash devices. Links should be in the description. Um, I really like these. It keeps me here so I can talk to you guys. You can just plug and go, but great for if you're traveling. I know we've got some military people, maybe not having access to a kitchen or a stove, college students, dorm room, hotel. Uh, they just plug up like a mini uh, George Foreman grill and um, $12.99 at Target. So I need to clean this one a little bit. Sorry, it's still kind of dirty, but this one is, it's from the blueberry pancake. So when the blueberries burst, but it's just me. So this one is the griddle. So it's the soft, I mean, it's the smooth surface. Thank you for the hearts. Smooth on the top and the bottom. They also have this one, which is the grill version. Obviously it has the grill marks. They also have waffle makers. They have like different varieties and I have some of everything. So that's what we're gonna be using to cook our eggs in the griddle and our sausage. Okay, so for my Maggie McMuffin, if you saw the thumbnail and I'm remembering, so it's an English muffin, which I don't eat. I can't have uh, gluten, so I can't have uh, flour and grains. So I'm trying to get through, today's gonna be the last day of these. I had a little spill in the fridge, so excuse the packaging, but I always like to show you guys what I'm using. This outer aisle, cauliflower sandwich thins. I got them at Costco. I think I've seen them at Whole Foods. You might check your local grocery store. Some of you all have um, gotten these ingredients and you say they're actually good. So this is my McMuffin substitute. So I'm gonna wash my hands since I was just cleaning and I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, so I bought these because I was greedy and I didn't look very closely, but the ingredients, if you can have cow dairy, this would be a great substitute. You can see here they're made with cauliflower, but then you see here they're also made with Parmesan. Uh, my test results also revealed that I'm sensitive to cow dairy, so I really shouldn't be having Parmesan. I'm sure it's a little amount just to bind the cauliflower together, but when I'm in weight loss mode, I really try to be strict about what I'm eating as long as it's on that list. It's not the end of the world. I bought it, I'm using it, but when I wanna maintain a little here and there, it's fine, but that's what keeps, for me, that's what keeps the scale stuck. When I actually want it to move, I really have to be kind of strict because, you know, let's say I don't drink milk, but I still put a little half and half in my coffee, or I don't eat cheese, but I still have stuff like this. I'm like, why am I not losing the weight? That was just me. Okay, so our cauliflower, good morning, Bill. Our cauliflower sandwich thins, you guys can see, and they're small. They're about, you know, the size of the palm of my hand. This has been a great uh, substitute for me. We did the smoked salmon bagel. This was our bagel. We've done the BLT. This was our sandwich bread. We did um, 
I can't remember. Oh, the open face uh, roast beef sandwich melt. This was our bread. So this is a great uh, substitute. So you can see here, it's a little delicate, but I'm going to toast these up. I'm remembering. <laughs> I have vivid memories of food, y'all. So a McMuffin is an English muffin. And you know, the English muffin has all those nooks and crannies. And they toast it, and then they butter it, and the butter kind of melts down. <laughs> so that's what's happening in my mind. But uh, so this is a flat surface, but this, these would also be great as little pizza crusts. I think we made pizza crust too. Uh, one of these days, I want to do a cook along with the kids. So we talked about that. Um, I know Sunday is Mother's Day, but uh, keep that in mind. If anyone wants to do a cook along with the kids, uh, we'll do some stuff that they like to eat, like uh, make your own pizzas and chocolate dipped strawberry, strawberries and stuff like that. Okay, cauliflower sandwich thins. The brand is Outer Isle. So you can give that a try if you need a substitute for bread. So I'm gonna put this in the air fryer plain because I wanna toast it dry and then I'll put the butter on after it's toasted. So obviously my air fryer is the oven type. So I'm just putting these on the shelf. It has multiple, multiple shelves. The heat source for the air fryer is at the top. Yes, absolutely, Diary. Come on and uh, switch over to YouTube. That's where the study hall is in the live chat. Um, I am live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll make my way around to TikTok, y'all. That's where the kids say I'm supposed to be, but... You can't live stream on TikTok unless you have 1,000 followers, support, whatever it's called. I have like 40, so I'll get there. Um, so I'm putting my sandwich thins on the air fryer tray. I kind of wish I had a toaster, but I don't. I use the air fryer for everything. So I'm going to toast these up close to the top. The air fryer, the heat source is in the top. So the closer it is to the top, the hotter and the faster it cooks, the closer it is to the bottom, it more it stays warmer for my kind. If you have the one that's the pull-out drawer, maybe it's all the same. But this one, I like the oven version because I can see through it and it has adjustable um, shelves, like a bookcase, so you can put your food where you want it. So I think I'll put it in there, but I won't turn it on just yet. I want everything to be warm and that's a struggle for me. My mom taught me how to cook and one thing that I struggle with is getting everything done at the same time. Like I'm really good with one ingredient and then let it rest and then another ingredient and then let it rest and then another ingredient. But um, I'm, not a, I'm not a real chef, I'm just a home cooker so I'm so glad that y'all are here. Maria's not even on TikTok, y'all. I'm gonna get there but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just gonna line the tray with foil just for cleanup. I use it all the time. So these are real appliances. <laughs> all right. And then I'll show you guys what we're using for our cheese and our egg. And even if you don't have health challenges and you know you just want to make some healthy options, I think kids would like this too. You can make you can save a lot of money and save a lot of calories by making stuff at home. I am a former corporate executive and you know I'm just happier at home, but the pandemic reset actually helped me have access to the kitchen and I can actually cook my own food, which has helped me be successful. Okay, so those are prepped and ready. They won't take long to toast, so we'll give it just a second. Now, let me see if I can get, I'm just wiping the crusty blueberries. They do come off. I should have cleaned it, but uh, y'all are familiar with the Maggie Cakes, and we had an amazing cook-along Friday evening. I need to put it on my community tab, but if you scroll back, um, we had a great cook-along with Vel and... Um, and Keisha, what is a cook along? I'm so glad you asked while I'm cleaning here. I'm gonna get a little a wipe. <laughs> I 
apologies for not having everything prepped and ready. I know Nana, she's in the chat. Mom is going to be on me about, uh, Maggie, your stuff should be ready. Okay, Mom. Um, but I love that you all are here and ask me the questions that you have and we can, you know, have our engagement while I'm cooking. I literally just turn on the camera when I'm going to cook for myself. And the fact that you all come and join me is just an extra bonus. So thank you. I just got to wipe up the rest of these blueberries. There's nothing wrong if you want to cook on it, but my egg, when I take it out, may have a little blue speck or like black speck on it. And I want my pictures to look nice. Oh yes, here's the cook along. So the cook along, if you all want to cook with me, as you can tell, this YouTube channel, what we do here are live cooking demonstrations. It didn't start out that way, but I'm happy to cook for you all and we learn and share together. Um, but if you want to cook with me, if you want me to drop the link, like Snuggles, our friendly troll, <laughs> is complaining that I don't drop the link. But uh, as you can see, you know, we uh, have more than conversations here. We have meals. And so I can't really just kind of do all that in real time. Uh, but what I can do is connect with you ahead of time. You can pick whatever you want to make, whatever you like. Pick whatever meal you want to have. Send me the recipe or I'll find a recipe. And uh, I will always make the... Um, substitute version you can make the full flavor version and we'll just connect our technology ahead of time hopefully it works no promises because y'all it's just me in my kitchen some people are already starting to complain about the cl the clutter on my counters but you know what feel free to find a cooking channel that fits your aesthetic moving on all right so we've got our griddle clean let me wash my hands and just wipe it down Okay, so we'll connect our technology and we'll get together ahead of time. Um, and I'll actually bring you on the screen side by side. We had three this last time. It was so much fun and we needed it because y'all, we were struggling with the technology, but I actually went back and watched it. It was wonderful. Um, and we'll literally just go through everything step by step and uh, you know show what we're doing in real time. And then we sit down and we uh, enjoy or stand up and enjoy our food. So that's what a cook along is. I'm, I'm uh, open to do it whenever you guys want to. Uh, you can participate in three different ways. Yes, look at Mona. You can watch Maggie cook, sit back, relax and enjoy. And thank you all just for you know participating. That's level one. Level two, if you want to cook, if you want to make it, but you don't want to be on camera, that's fine. Y'all have been inboxing me and tagging me in some of your uh, creations. And I love it when you let me know that you tried something and it actually tastes good because you know my palate has completely changed. But uh, when you guys are like, yeah, this tastes really good, I appreciate that because this is year three on my journey. This is going to be the last year then we're just going to maintain uh, and you guys are going to help keep me accountable. All right, finally. And then level three, if you, <laughs> the scholars love Maggie the way I am. Oh, thank you all. Y'all, it's just me, quirky, silly, running around crazy. I really try to be elegant and represent you all well, but hey, it's a real world out here. All right. So this is what we have. We have the dash, um, griddle so once I plug these in I'm not going to lift them up but um $12.99 you can get the waffle maker version you guys will see me use that the griddle version I'm cooking the eggs in here when you see the Maggie cakes and they're perfectly round and golden brown this is what I'm using it's non-stick and I put the butter on the top and bottom between each pancake and close it you love the authenticity thank you because y'all I couldn't be anything other than me and if I tried I would forget that I was acting and then I would just slip back into silly so here we go um, this is what I'm going to use for my turkey sausage this is the grill this is actually nice it'll give you nice little grill marks on you know whatever you're cooking um, like a burger patty would be great in here, whatever you want to grill. So there's different options you can try. Okay, so for eggs, I'm using real eggs and I'm going to make two. Hey, cook. So I just have regular organic cage-free eggs. They're brown eggs. Look, 
use what you have. I am not the food police. We all start somewhere, but I try to stay as natural as possible. Ah, uh, Monique, you've made several of the meals. I would love to hear, and thank you for the compliment. I would love to hear what you've made. Did you make it for yourself? Did you make it for the family? Um, and I'd love to know uh, how it was. Um, oh, I don't know if I finished this, but yes, level three, if you want to live stream your cooking, we'll get our technology set up and just have a phone or whatever you can um, set up in your kitchen so you can be hands-free, a little tripod or prop it up and uh, we'll cook at the same time. Okay, so eggs are going in the griddle. Eggs on the griddle. For sausage. I'm using this butter ball. I have these turkey breakfast sausage patties. They're good. They're a little small, so I'm gonna do two of them. What would be perfect is if I had a nice sausage patty that fit the size of the grill, so it made like a perfect sandwich, but I will cut it and make it work. I'm just curious about those cauliflower thins. I just want to see how this compares to the, I guess you could, like if you wanted to make a panini, I'm going to toast these because I want them crispy on their own. But yeah, I guess you could do like a little grilled cheese with the cauliflower. That's a good like after school snack or something. Um, you could do the cauliflower thins, um, the cheese that I'm using. I'm also, since yeah, I said, I'm sensitive to cow dairy, so I shouldn't be eating the Parmesan. But this is from Whole Foods. They have these uh, goat cheese slices. So this is my substitute for like a cheddar cheese or American cheese. Uh, Whole Foods is the only place that I have found the goat cheese slices. Usually it's in a log that you have to either smear on if it's the soft cheese, a tub that you can sprinkle uh, like a crumbled cheese, or a block that you have to shred and make your own shredded cheese. So I do like these from time to time. They're just fun when you're building a sandwich. Ooh, Mona, Monique, I'm sorry, that is gonna tell us what she's made. Yes, I do have a Facebook page and I am streaming live there too uh, on my personal page and also on my Maggie the Substitute Teacher page. All right. <clears throat> And I hope you guys know, like the food that I make, it's really like under 30 minutes, usually like 15 to 20, but I take time to explain everything. So even though I have these like hour long live streams, you know, don't be intimidated. You can do it. Um, when I get my clips together, maybe I'll have somebody like help me make it like um, a short or something. Y'all, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna get started. Butterball, turkey, breakfast, sausage patties. Um, if you can have, you know, any other sausage patties, Jimmy Dean. These are already cooked, yeah. So these are already cooked. We're just putting them on the griddle. But you could, um, you know, like the raw ones. Maybe if I bought the t uh, sausage roll and then made it into my own patties, I could make it this shape. I'll have to do that. I'm going to do that. All right. But this is what we have. Turkey sausage patties, as you can see, they're a little smaller than the griddle, so I'm gonna put two on. And a portion is two patties. Yes, and I am IG. Oh, Maria wants to know about um, the actual cheddar. Okay, so let's talk about goat's cheese. Y'all, when I got my test results, I was shocked. Some of the stuff that I found out that I was sensitive to, I eat all the time. Chicken, coffee, citrus, dairy, gluten, all this stuff. And I was like, what the heck am I supposed to eat? That's where the substitute teacher came from. And when I saw dairy, I was heartbroken because I am a milk, cheese, yogurt, half and half, cream cheese, all of that. Um... And so my metabolic specialist, Nancy Masood, link is in the description. Her business is Locked In Wellness. She is here in the Atlanta area, but she takes clients worldwide. You can swab yourself and clip a little bit of hair and send it in. Um, but she said, you can have goat's cheese. I'm like, what is goat's cheese? Y'all, I did not know. I am now eating goat's cheese 
I am now eating sheep's cheese. Who knew? Now I will tell you this, goat's milk cheese is an acquired taste. It's kind of funky. To me, it's like a cross between, I'm just getting our turkey sausage out. To me, it's a cross between like blue cheese and sour cream. So it's got a little tang, twang, I don't know, to it. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm thinking. Okay. Um, answer the question. So these goat cheese slices, it says cheddar style, which is like a, um, in texture, it's a very good comparison. So you all know like American cheese, like Kraft American cheese, that pasteurized, processed, whatever. Um, some people say that's not real cheese, but that's the one that's kind of like flimsy and it melts down really ooey gooey like hamburger cheeseburger cheese. This is not that. I'm going to put this turkey sausage in and then I'll show you, Maria. I'm coming. All right. So we've got our butterball turkey sausage patties and you can see here they're too small for the griddle, but they kind of overlap. So I'm making this up. Uh, I'm going to cut it in half. And see if I can get it flat. If it hit the floor, I would have rinsed it off and put it in here. Absolutely. My house is clean, but still. Sorry. Don't judge me. Or judge me. Please do what works for you. All right. So I have my turkey sausage patties. And uh, what I'm trying to do is see if I can get them as flat as possible on this griddle. I don't even know if this is going to work but I want to try and yeah. Okay. So y'all see what I did. I'm just making this up. I'll assemble them together on the sandwich cause I'm going to cut it in half anyway, but I want it to be able to close so that I get the nice grill marks. Improvise. Oh, laugh at me. Y'all absolutely judge me, please. You know, one of the things that lead attorney tells us to do, you know, if you are a student of his, he has an excellent course. I highly recommend it. I'm only halfway through because I take a module and then I have to like apply it and I take another module. So y'all, I go slow. I'm going to plug this in. Um, I'm not doing any oil or butter on the grill because the turkey sausage, when it cooks down, it'll release its own oil and it's nonstick. So I'm just going to plug that up. And then we're going to move on to the egg. Um, I'm coming, Maria. I haven't forgotten. But uh, yeah, one of the things that lead attorney tells us to do is see who else is in your, you know, area. Dare I say, you know, competition. Who else is doing what you're doing? So I have my goat's butter. Oh, in case anybody hasn't seen, because I'm sensitive to cow dairy, I need to get you guys a better one. I have it in the fridge. But I'm using uh, Delamere goat's butter. Looks like butter, cooks like butter, tastes like butter. Um, but it's my um, cow dairy substitute. And for my fried egg, I'm taking some butter on the griddle. And I'm just putting it on. This is what I do when I'm doing the pancakes. So I'm going to make two fried eggs because I'm making two of these. They're going to be open face. Um, and then I'm going to plug it up. I'll go ahead and plug it up and let the butter melt. Then we'll crack an egg inside. Okay. I was telling two stories at once. I'm coming. I'm going to put up my turkey sausage. Oh, Vel. Um, uh, I see this one about you don't know if your chats are coming through. I saw that one. So, y'all, if I miss anything, please just repost it. When I look up, I will get to it. I am, um, but that was my point. Okay, I'm going to crack an egg inside the um, griddle. All right, and I'm going to leave it whole. I will, because I want some seasoning, I'm just going to salt and pepper it a little bit. I don't even know if they do that in the McMuffin. But after those scrambled poached eggs I had yesterday. Um, okay, so 
Can y'all hear our turkey sausage is sizzling? I'm gonna open it up and see. Mom taught me to cook with all of my senses, so don't just set it and forget it. Look at it, touch it, taste it. You know, as long as it's not raw, get in there. Okay. It's still looking kind of sad and gray. I want the nice brown grill marks. All right, so before I put this back in the fridge, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag. I don't just put open containers in the fridge. Who does that, kids? No, it'll dry out. We're not gonna waste food here. Oh, Belle, I know, I know. Inbox me if you want this version, I can get it for you. They just won't let me put it in the marketplace because the image is, you know how you do stuff in Shutterfly and you get that little triangle with the exclamation point and it says, you know, we cannot guarantee the quality. It may be blurry. I think it's okay. But I'm working on a smaller one that you can order direct from them. But if you want, I'll get you one. And we do have adult sizes and kid sizes for the Maggie merch. You want to see it in brown? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Maria, brown is on the way. Um, and I think brown, this is nice for serving, like if I'm serving, you know, white is beautiful, but for really working in the kitchen, I think, you know, brown might be better. All right, so you see the steam is coming. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna check on my turkey sausage. Starting to get a little color. Y'all know it's turkey sausage, but it's what I can have. Um, if you can have pork sausage or whatever, please have some for me. Ooh, our egg looks like it's done. Let me get this um, toast toasted. When the food gets ready, I get so excited. All right, I'll show you guys the egg that we have. Hey, Wally, come on in. So one thing when you're using the dash uh, appliances that I have, make sure you use nonstick um, serveware, cookware, because it can um, scratch. So one egg is done. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to get it perfectly round. I'm too rough with it. All right, I need to put some more butter next time. It's coming up, but I just got a little bit of sticking. All right, are you guys able to see? So we have our fried egg. This is just salt and pepper. I'll do the next one. I look like I'm on fire. <laughs> I'll do the next one without salt and pepper just so you can see. But we've got our fried egg. Should have had my toast ready. But that's okay. All right, Maria, I haven't forgotten about you. So we got our egg. I'm gonna tent it with foil. foil is here just so I can keep a little bit of heat on it. And I just put it on this wire rack on a plate just so it doesn't get completely cold. I'm trying to decide. Okay. Focus. I'm going to clean off this griddle just with a paper towel. Got a little bit of egg stuck to it, which means I need a little bit more butter. No problem. Happy to do that. So I'm just going to cut off a piece of the goat's butter and I'm going to put it all in here and let it really like melt down and sizzle. That'll give us that nice golden brown and I'm doing it on the top. I need to Once it's on, it's a little tricky, so I'm just getting a pastry butt brush and I'm getting some of that melted butter from the bottom of the griddle and I'm just going to brush the top. Pop me. All right. And then let's crack one more egg. I can either do a double McMuffin or open face open face may look better. Oof. Starting to like sizzle up. All right, so let's close it. I could just watch it. All right, I missed the good ideas from 
Um, well, I'll scroll back in a second. Okay, Maria, you asked about the cheese a long time ago. I'm gonna wash my hands. Oh. I can put this on, put it on the hot egg. So if you can have regular American cheese, I'm sure McDonald's just uses like a craft kind of version. Ooh, our turkey sausage. Y'all. Don't sleep on the little mini dash. See how we have nice little coloring. So they've actually, I cut my sausage patties in half. I'm gonna unplug. But yeah, we got nice grill marks. So we're just about ready. All right, y'all. All right, turn that off. Isn't this weird? You see how it says goat's cheese? And can y'all see how it says vegetarian? I always thought that was weird, but apparently goat's cheese qualifies as vegetarian. I don't know how, but um, vegetarians can eat it. So you can see here, this goat's cheese, it's kind of like the deli cheese that's um, on these kind of paper sheets where you peel them apart. So compared to, do I have, I know it looks crazy, but like regular craft, right? Um, Oh, that's pepper jack. I'm like, why are there spots in it? So it's about the same size, but it's more dense. It's thicker. Um, I'm going to put it on the egg. To me, it melts down and it works like a cheddar cheese. So it's not as, um, I don't know, flimsy is the right word. Um, this is in the plastic, but if I were to take this out, y'all know how this like waves like a flag, but this is the cheese made from goat's milk. Now, as far as the taste, I like it. To me, it tastes like a sharp cheddar. So it has a little bit of bite, a little bit of like a dry, salty Parmesan, not all the way Parmesan, but it is a little bit salty, but not the funky kind of goat's cheese. All right, this egg is looking much better. Nice and sizzling. I'll show you guys. So we have our egg. All right, I'm ready to assemble. Hope I didn't burn my toast. All right. So I've got one egg with the goat's cheese. Flipped it over. I think I'll do that. I'm gonna put this on top of the griddle, get some of that heat. All right, let's see how our toast looks. All right, so we've got some nice browning. You guys can see, we got some nice browning, some crispy edges, if you remember what it looked like when we started. And we've got some good um, texture. It's not an English McMuffin, but it's what I got. Oh, Maria grew up out on goat's cheese. Oh yeah, Wally, absolutely. That comes from Whole Food. Uh, buckle up, buttercup. All I eat is goat's cheese. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I'm gonna do it here. So the McMuffin, I think in the picture, it's English muffin and they butter it. So Wally, if you haven't seen goat's cheese. It's way there in the back and I'm hungry, but I wanted to show you a better presentation. But this is also at Whole Foods, Delamere Goat's Butter. So I'm putting this on my cauliflower. And for the English McMuffin, I'm using Outer Isle. Ah, Kesha says, or is it Keisha? She uses the cauliflower. They are good. I can't have gluten, so this is a great, um, nice and buttery, just like a McMuffin. I'm trying to remember the order. And then, is it, 
the egg and the sausage, I like it matters. What brand of sausage? I'm using Butterball turkey sausage patties. Okay, so I'm like reaching for stuff. It's hot, but it's okay. And I cut my sausage patties in half. And this is my, I think I want some jelly. There's one other thing I was gonna show y'all. Okay, I'll do one with jelly and one with honey. All right, I'll, I'll get it better. All right, that one, we're gonna do a little honey drizzle. This is my sucrin syrup, link should be in the description. The melt, look at Wally, <laughs> Oh, you haven't seen anything. Wait till I do Maggie cakes. You wanna see butter melt and syrup and so good. All right, I haven't shown you guys this. Um, Walden Farms also makes a strawberry fruit spread. Notice it doesn't say jelly and look, see how it's kind of jiggly? This is one of the ones, it's okay, but it's sugar-free, calorie-free gluten-free. It gives me the jelly experience because I like jelly on my McMuffins. Um, just be careful because you can see it's an apple cider vinegar base. So they're more runny than your other condiments, but it gives you jelly, uh, fat-free, calorie-free, gluten-free, all that. Snuggles. Okay. Snuggles is back. Calling my food the devil. Welcome to class, Snuggles. We're so glad you're here. tool and I'm mad I can't find it and I'm hungry somebody got this for me so I can actually open stuff let's see <sighs> snuggle <laughs> Like y'all said, there's always one. We love Snuggles. Snuggles is our um, our friendly troll. Um, strawberry fruit spread, so you guys can see. I'm gonna be very careful with it, but I want it on my buttered toast. That was a lot. But you can see here, at least you could have a little bit of a jelly experience if you want. You're always going to hear me talking about beverages and condiments. You can make a lot of changes eating some of the same foods, but just changing beverages and condiments because we get a lot of extra calories and sugar that way. Mm. Taste is good. Just watch out for texture because it is a little runny. Snuggles, what do the men need to pay attention to? I am so confused. Snuggles just comes in and... So I'm putting my turkey sausage, again, I don't know what's the devil's food, but turkey sausage, cauliflower sandwich thins. Oh, I'm looking, I know I had another egg. It's not giving me, I'm gonna put the cheese on the bottom. I do feel like I should blast it. and then our fried egg. So I have one with jelly, turkey sausage, fried egg, and uh, cauliflower thin. And then this one for Wally. We have the nice melt. I'm gonna drizzle this. What do y'all put on yours? I should make some fruit. I didn't even make my coffee. Oh my God. Hold up. This one isn't open. Mm. 
Okay, I have so many. <laughs> Just a little honey. I like sweet, completely optional. Again, this is the Sucrin Gold Syrup Substitute. Hey, Marcus Berry, come on in. School breakfast biscuits, grape jelly, yes, grape jelly. Oh, all right. I'm going to do a quick fruit and a quick coffee. We'll take our picture and then we'll eat. I have some cuties that are starting to look a little sad, so I just want to peel this really breakfast biscuits. Yes, yeah, Snuggles, I'm dropping the link. Amethyst is coming over. I'm making her arroz con pollo, chicken and rice on Saturday. It'll be Saturday afternoon. I'm in the Atlanta area, so I'm thinking around three-ish, but I'll know it as I get closer. Got a couple things to do in the morning. Y'all know weekend errands, but I'm gonna get all the ingredients and I'm gonna cook her the full flavor meal. Amethyst has been nice enough to help me with these Amazon links, because y'all, Maggie, the substitute teacher, I'm just peeling my orange, is um, three months old. And I am struggle streaming, <laughs> sometimes struggle cooking, and never struggle eating. Can you make those and freeze them? Uh, Maria, what could you pre-make? The biscuits or what part? You know what you can pre-make the Maggie cakes using this griddle or a waffle maker. You guys have seen my two ingredient batter, just eggs and cream cheese or eggs and goat's cheese. All right, have a little fruit. Quick coffee. Need some water. All right, y'all know my beverage hacks, but I'll show you really quick. Test results say I need to drink more alkaline water. You can buy your own or you can make it. Alkaline water drops on Amazon. Links are in the description. Turns tap into alkaline water. I was drinking water, water, water. It was not hydrating me. So now with the alkaline drops, it actually stays to hydrate me instead of just going through. Have I ever used just egg? Yes, I have. Instead of half and half, I'm using this oat milk and coconut milk. Again, I'm really not supposed to have the gluten. Yes, I like it light and sweet. So oat milk is a no-no for me, but I bought it, so I'm going to use it. And then my sweetener, skinny syrups, white chocolate, zero calories, zero sugar. So I put everything in here and then I'm going to go run it under the Keurig, just regular old donut shop. Y'all, I'm going to eat this so bad. What else do we, I try to get pictures and they go on my, my uh, community tab. It doesn't look bad. Oh. Drop my alkaline water. Now I could make it like a proper sandwich. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. We'll do that. That actually looks good. Oh, okay, Snuggles. Thank you for the feedback, I'm trying. It's just me and my iPad, but I appreciate the uh, constructive criticism. The pictures that I take are on my community tab and those will be better. Alright, 
taste the coffee and I'm going to change the plate. <laughs> so good. And then the last piece of unnecessary fanciness, I am changing my plate because I assembled this McMuffin. And we'll put Presentation is everything. We all eat with our eyes. It's two eggs, two sausage patties, two slices of cheese. I eat about six to eight ounces of protein per meal. Um, so I have extra protein, but this is uh, breakfast for me. And the coffee is done. Tastes amazing. This is the color that I look for, kind of a light paper sack brown. But just to be extra festive, Whipped cream made from coconut milk. <laughs> yes, we love the feedback from Snuggles. Thank you. Snuggles, feel free to be a channel sponsor. Right now, it's just me and my iPad. <laughs> I'm only three months old, Snuggles. How, how old is your YouTube channel? A little dusting of just regular Walmart cinnamon. So you guys can see, make your own drinks at home. So breakfast is ready. I'm gonna take a picture. And then I'm gonna eat. All right, so pictures on my community tab are usually in better resolution. <laughs> oh goodness oh it looks good though I take several pictures some with the flash some without the flash so again this is cauliflower uh, sandwich thin so that's my McMuffin substitute oh I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut it in half and get you guys a cross section Serrated knife when you're using bread. Oh, it's sticky. <laughs> All right. Ooh. All right. I know with the pictures, but I'm working on a cookbook, y'all, and it's just me and my camera. So, this is what I got. Then I'm going to pull up a chair and we will chat and chow. And then we will start our day. Yep. All right, finally. <laughs> I'm a very interesting human. Thank you, Snuggles. So are you. And yes, happy to be here. Y'all, it is so good. So, so good with the, the jelly and the, one egg is a little bit runny, one is okay. I'm okay with that, but cook it to your level of doneness. I was just rushing. Mm. <laughs> Let's get Dexley. <laughs> Oh, I missed the question. What was the question? Here I come. Dexley is here. All right. So let me clean off my counters. People are already talking about my messy counters, but hey. I cook every day, twice a day. Three times a day if the boys are here. Oh, y'all can see. So it washed well, but it is white. But you can see the fabric. It's a nice, like, linen almost. It's really good quality. All right. Oh, Instagram. Crap, I forget. Hold on.
if y'all could see, it is literally just me and my... Okay, if I move it down. Oh, my God. All right. It's not a proper cooking show. It's just me. Okay, let's see. Questions. The jelly. Oh, I didn't put the jelly in there, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I need to update it. <sighs> Amethyst, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to have to create a YouTube, no, an Amazon store, but it is Walden Farms Strawberry Fruit Spread. Uh, again, zero calories, zero sugar, zero fat, zero everything. You can order it online. I haven't seen this in the stores. I've seen their syrups in the stores. I'm going to need to set up a store where you guys can have access to like all the stuff that I use because um, I have scoured the shops and the websites for ingredients that actually taste good, right? Because there's a lot of stuff that's like, yeah, it's healthy, but, and I'll let you know if it's good or if it's not. This is very good. Mmm. 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 Only thing I would do different, maybe buy like turkey sausage roll and shape my own patty so that it's the same size as the sandwich, egg. Um, that's probably the only thing I would do. Everything else is the same size. Snuggles, I hope that's better. Mmm. Weight Watchers approved. Wonderful. Y'all. I've done it all. Weight Watchers, Nutrisystem, they all work. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't want to be rude. The problem for me, or anybody, you know, who has struggled with, with weight, when you eat that food and you lose the weight, if you don't like the food that you're eating, when you're done and you go back to eating the way that you used to, y'all know the weight comes back and then some. Snuggles, what are my theatrics when I'm eating? I am just eating. But I did used to be in sales. Right out of college, I started working for, believe it or not, a tobacco company, Philip Morris. Great corporate experience. I don't smoke and I don't recommend anybody do. Um, but uh, I, I do have a sales background, but I moved to the technical side. I work uh, from home in tech now, but I do have a sales background. What are my theatrics, though? Now I'm going to be self-conscious. <laughs> mm. Wally, what is really? Weight Watchers approved. So anyway, yeah, I was talking about you eat the food, you lose the weight, you stop eating the food, the weight comes back. And always having had struggled with weight, I thought I would either like how I looked and hate what I had to eat or like what I'm eating, but hate how it made me look. So I've been on this journey to find food that I actually want to eat that works within my list of approved foods. Cause you guys, nobody wants to feel deprived, right? Mm. You want coffee mugs and, um, Shopping bags. Okay. I'm on it. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Sorry, Snuggles. I can mute myself. Oh, Nutrisystem and Weight Watchers. I support everything. I'm not keto. I like some keto recipes. I don't count calories. I don't count fat grams. <clears throat> For anybody who's new here, I'm just like y'all. I'm scrolling back because I think I missed something. Um, I've always struggled with weight and I just thought I was a big bone, big girl. You know, I'm not. I believed the lie. You know, now I'm finally just able to shop in regular stores, which is a wonderful thing. You know, I can fly without, you know, complications, no extension bill. I mean, it was a struggle for me. Um, 
Snuggles, I should be an actress. I have no idea what is happening, y'all. Um, but I was at work. I used to be an executive for Coca-Cola, another great company, great corporate experience. But I was just like, y'all, I had a two hour commute ripping and running. You know, I'm amicably divorced, but I do have two boys, you know, so, you know, their dad and I co-parent well, but during the week, the heavy lifting was on me in two different schools, drop off, pick up, all of that. So long commute, ripping and running, trying to hurry, eat whatever, fast food. That was just my life. Um, oh, the texture of the cauliflower thins. It is, I don't know. Let me take a bite without anything else. It's like a flatbread. If you've ever had flatbread pizza, I don't know if y'all can see that. It is thin and I put syrup on it, but it's like a flatbread pizza crust or naan. If you've ever, ever had the Indian flatbread, it's very good. Um, but yeah, that was me. So when I was at work, Mm. <laughs> I do have a cash app, M Brown, if you want to support the show. Completely optional. You guys are just here and helping me to grow. Mm -hmm. I've been told I'm a pretty good barista. I can make a lot of... And people don't even know that there's sugar-free and dairy-free. They're like, that's good. I'm like, I know, but thank you. I love the skinny syrups. You can get these online. You can also get them if you have Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Ross, go towards the back where they have the home goods, all the different flavors. I use these in coffees, teas, uh, cocktails. They have everything, zero sugar, zero calorie. Um, <laughs> one thick McMuffin. Heck yeah. This is it. This is this. I'm eating two meals a day. This is one of them. So I, I like for them to be pretty big. Yeah. Vegetarian, but not vegan for the goat's cheese. Oh, the alkaline water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Metabolic specialist said it says alkaline water booster drop. Potassium and sodium. I know Snuggle says my camera is no good, but I don't know if you can see. Potassium, 15 milligrams. Sodium, 5 milligrams. So you just add drops to whatever you're drinking. Doesn't change the flavor, but it, um, it makes it more alkaline if you're more acidic like I was. Oh, just egg. I have used a just egg. I'm coming back to my weight loss story, but I'm trying to answer all of your questions. I really appreciate you all being here. The cooking demo is over, but this is when we chat and chow. So I'm enjoying my thick muffin, my thick McMuffin. Sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. Mm. Mm -hmm. If I put this in front of you, you would eat it. All right, what was that question? Just egg. I have used just egg. So if you're a complete vegan and you don't eat, it is a good substitute. <clears throat> I will say this. It has a very good texture of egg. It gives you that kind of creamy egg texture like in a scramble or whatever. But the taste is like vegetables which is fine. So probably with other things like a scramble, I think the just egg would be fine. But you know how you anticipate how something is going to taste? Like when I put this in my mouth, I know I'm expecting a little tart, sweet, bright citrus. If I ate this and it tasted like cauliflower, I'd kind of be like, hmm, wasn't expecting that. So that was my experience with the just egg. Not bad at all. I've bought it. I've used it. I just prefer whole eggs. But yes, um, just egg is good. Oh, could I make this sandwich and close it and freeze it? You know what? Y'all, have you seen those like 
I don't know if they're Jimmy Dean or whoever those breakfast sandwiches that are already made and they're like shrink wrapped and you just microwave them. Maybe, but the problem is when you have everything cooked all together like that, Maria, to me, when you microwave it in order for like the cheese to melt, then the egg is rubbery or for the bread to not be tough, the sausage is still cold. So it's hard to get it all the same temperature. That's a struggle for me. You see how I move in here. But um, let's see, how could you make this ahead of time? You could probably just microwave everything. Like go ahead and fry some eggs down pack those separate. The turkey sausage you saw was already cooked. I just wanted some grill marks on it. I did toast my cauliflower thins, but you could probably just have everything separate. Get it from the fridge, cauliflower thin, um, sausage, egg, and you know, another cauliflower thin, uh, slice of cheese and microwave it if you're really short on time. If you have like five minutes, I'd probably put it in the air fryer or the toaster. So already made, but not already assembled. That's what I'm thinking. We're never gonna forget Snuggles. Snuggles is our um, friendly troll. Um, thank you, Keisha. I don't know if it's Keisha or Kesha. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just scrolling. Snuggles, what was this about? I've taught the boys to cook. You can make this for the family. You could make this for your guy. You could make this for yourself. But thank you um, <clears throat> for the compliment. All right, I'm coming back down. I'm just scrolling. I'm going to take another bite. I know there's new messages, but I just want to get back because y'all, when I'm cooking, sometimes I don't see everything. Mm. Snuggles. Thank you for the feedback. I cook for everybody. Um, I cook for the family. I um, cook for my mom. I cook for guests. I wear many hats. I'm also an Airbnb hostess, very proud super host. Uh, I was just raised this way. I am the daughter of a retired home economics teacher. So mom made sure, now called Family and Consumer Sciences. So mom made sure that um, you take care of whoever is in your home and um, even if the service people, you know, are here cutting the grass or whatever, if I'm cooking, you can always get a plate. Um, but yes, I, I appreciate that. Thank you, Snuggles. <laughs> I'm scrolling back down. Y'all, that was good. I'm not even going to lie. It was good. I did my fast yesterday and I dreamed about this last night. Poof. Yeah, let me know if anybody's on Weight Watchers, Keisha, Kesha, let me know if, um, you know, the stuff is approved. I mean, y'all, we are just building a community of people who either love to eat or love to cook like me. Um, people who, you know, maybe just need some ideas to get out of a rut people who are spending too much money or too much time eating out. Um, maybe you have health challenges like I used to. Uh, maybe you need to lose weight like a lot of us need to. Absolutely, yes. Please like if you like what I'm doing. I'm scrolling. Maggie Merch is on the way. Okay, so the Nutrisystem and Weight Watchers. So back to the story time. <laughs> Snuggles. I'm giving you the full experience. <laughs> Snuggles, why do you keep coming back? I love having you here, but <laughs> what brings you back? I want to know what brings y'all here. This is hilarious to me, but thank you. Um, 
Ah, <sighs> thank you. Ah, for workout. I did a workout yesterday. I forgot to post it. I work out on YouTube. I work from home, thankfully. So I don't leave the house unless I actually have to. But um, also, too, because I know myself and I'm bad with impulse shopping. If I go into the stores for one thing, I come out with stuff that I do not need. So I try to order as much as I can. And then I like to be around the food that's approved for me if I'm out and about. Y'all, the signs and the, um, the advertisements, and it's just so convenient to whip into the drive-thru. It's a struggle for me, so I try to stay away from it. <clears throat> but I do, excuse me, work out at home. Y'all, I hate to tell you, but I learned the hard way too. Excuse me, it's 70 to 80% of what we eat. Um, but let me, Dexley's going to take me over there. I do walking workouts. I have these little hand weights. I have a resistance band. I have some dumbbells. Um, I'll do, you know, workouts at home. I went ahead and upgraded my YouTube to the um, YouTube premium. For me, $15 a month, so I don't have to sit through commercials when I'm doing, you know, crunches and they're like, we'll be right back after the commercial. No, you will not. We're going to count these 20 right here, right now. Um, and you know, going to a gym, I mean, it's fine. The places that I've worked, you know, at Coke, I managed a team. We had an amazing fitness center, all the campus services, seven restaurants, um, a fitness center, an Emory clinic, uh, postal service, just basically like the Google and Amazon model. It was like a little college campus. And so those managers reported to me. So I kind of got a little glimpse of like white glove service. So that's, you know, what I bring to what I do, but you know, I support whatever you do. Some people love the gym, but for my life right now, it's better for me to do what I do at home. There's so many different workouts online um, and it's working for me. So I support whatever works for you. But yeah, I do Zumba, walk at home, excuse me, whatever. Um, all right, let's see. What else do I have here? I looked up Dr. Sebi Snuggles, but I'm not familiar with him. You'll have to let me know what he's about. There's so many different health and wellness experts, and I'm not an expert, y'all. I'm just a boy mom and a home cook. But I found what works for me, so I'm happy to share. Adam Sandler on Big Daddy. I missed that one. Yes, Snuggles. All the food that I make is going to go on my community tab, so you guys can always go if you're on YouTube swipe over to the community section and you'll see the pictures that I make, uh, that I take. They're also on my Instagram, Maggie, the substitute teacher. And that's how this started. Almost done. Oh, so good. Nice, bright citrus to contrast with the creamy egg and cheese. I love eating good food because you need less of it. Uh, so when you have good quality food, it just satisfies you. And it's like, ah, oh, that was good. So <clears throat> when I started getting serious about my journey, I would take pictures of what I was, you know, cooking, eating, making, whatever. And I would post on social media. Sorry, I'm falling apart, y'all. That's not elegant. But anyway, um, people would see the pictures and they would say, did you make that? I'd be like, yeah, I made that. And they would say, so I knew people didn't think I was actually doing this, like everyday cooking. But my mom cooked every day. I've been in the kitchen since I was like before 10. Maggie, in the kitchen. Uh, but I'm grateful for it now. So I started posting before and after pictures. So just the ingredients and then the finished product. And then people would say, how did you make that? And so I would go back in the comments and I would comment, first you do this and then you do this and then you do this. And then sometimes I would even take pictures like I would chop up the, you know, the vegetables take a picture, saute the whatever, take a picture. So that's really, I've been doing that for years. And um, when I, you know, people would always say, you're really good at that. Thank you. Um, you need a cookbook because you do need a cookbook. And I would think, oh, maybe one day I'll put something together when the kids are up and out. Um, but when I heard lead attorney say, if you're over 35, you have knowledge that people need, uh, you should start a YouTube channel. 
So I'm like, well, people have been saying it, so I guess I'll start a YouTube channel. Hmm? And my first videos, Snuggles, I've come a little bit of a long way, were really just still pictures. And I was narrating the pictures that I was taking. I did this, and then I did this, and then I did this. And it was just me talking over it. And then one of my scholars, you all in my class have named yourself Maggie Scholars. One of y'all was like, are you going to actually do a demonstration? And I was like, I never thought of that. People actually want to watch me do it in real time. Because, you know, cooking shows, they take it out of the oven. It's perfect. Y'all know that doesn't happen here. So I started live streaming and here we go. Okay, so now Snuggles has some more feedback. Things that I want to show people, I, oh my God. Okay, Snuggles, you're telling me, take pictures of them and tell them, okay, I'm not understanding. But the, the products are, the finished product is on my community tab. Oh, Velcro. Yes, oh y'all, lead attorney was on me about the gluten-free, he's talked about my air sandwiches. These cauliflower thins are good and you can make your own. I've actually made my own like cauliflower crust uh, and you can make your own. It's just the two ingredients. It's cauliflower and Parmesan. So you need some cheese to bind it. Here's what you can do. If you don't want to buy the breads or you want to make your own, you can get fresh cauliflower and boil it or you can skip that step. Get the cauliflower florets or florets, whatever, in the bag the steam bag. Steam them five minutes in the microwave and then you know put them in a bowl and add whatever shredded cheese of your choice. It could be Parmesan, goat's cheese for me, it could be whatever. And then since they're steamed, just mash them down and you can make them into like a little paste. And that's what people do. They spread it out and just cook that, just the cauliflower and the, the cheese to bind it. Um, and they make pizza crusts out of that. So you could make them small and make the little sandwich thins. But yes, these are actually pretty tasty. Y'all, I will tell you if it does not taste good. You bought too many groceries? Oh, you're putting up groceries, you bought too much yogurt? I almost made yogurt today, but we were running behind. I do almond milk yogurt and coconut milk yogurt. Snuggles called me four eyes. <sighs> I'm a senior business analyst. So think of tech technical documentation. I sit between business people who know what they want and technical people who know how to build it, but they don't speak the same language. So I'm like the interpreter. I work on both sides and I document. If you want to know more about Maggie, um, Uncle Stu, the old man on the block, did a great interview with me. In my opinion, it's great. I talk about my upbringing and I talk about what I do for work. Um, so if you want to know, it's on his channel. He's got the full like 30, 45 minute version and then like a five minute version. All right, Maria, thank you so much for being here. Oh, I will eat again. Um, of course, and post again, but you guys can always catch the replay. Keisha wants to know if the beef jerky is hard. It is kind of tough. I'm not going to lie to you. So the snack, let me show you guys. <clears throat> so again, I've completely changed the snacks that I have. This is what I was eating the other day. Um, Again, I look for zero sugar wherever I can. So this is beef jerky. And yes, when they take the sugar out, it's a little bit drier. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was an acquired taste, but I don't snack on chips and granola bars and any of that stuff anymore. But I don't know if you can see. I know Snuggle said my camera is no good, but it is kind of, yeah, it's kind of dry. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But you know what I do? Make a quick soup, put a bouillon cube in the Keurig, run some hot water, get a nice little broth, or just use broth. Cut these up, chop them up, put these into the hot water and they'll soften up kind of like, you know those dried shrimp and ramen when you have the ramen? And then 
funnily enough, when you make the ramen noodle bowl and they plump up with the hot water, kind of like that. So it is dry. <laughs> Snuggles. When I was 10, my mom was telling me, Maggie, if you can't cook for your children, who will cook for them? So I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> Can I repost the goat's cheese? Yes. Goat's cheese slices. And Whole Foods is the only... Did I put them up? Oh, here they are. I need to put them up. Whole Foods is the only place that I have seen goat's cheese slices, Keisha. Please correct me if I'm saying it wrong. I'll say Keisha until you tell me otherwise. So 365 is their store brand, Whole Foods. And this is um, the goat's cheese. But I will, I will definitely get you a link. Link needs to be in the description. But yes, I got a couple stories to finish. So um, sorry. I'm gonna make an Amazon store, or Amethyst is gonna help me, or the kids are gonna help me, or somebody younger and better at this is gonna help me. And I'm just gonna start putting stuff into that store link so that, because I do use a lot of ingredients and I have scoured to find stuff that's actually good, that's approved for me. So if it's approved for your plan, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, hey, Miss Lady, thank you for being here. Um, Mm, Keisha wants to know if I can do an episode of all the snacks. Ooh, that's a good topic. I got some new stuff. Y'all remember the chicken chips from last night? Should I try them? Yes, Snuggles. I take etiquette and elegance classes. Thank you. Mmm, amethyst. Mmm. I need help with that. Um... But yes, so Keisha, you were asking about snacks. Like if I'm going to be gone from the house, boiled eggs, beef jerky. I'm always drinking something water, unsweet tea with my sugar-free sweeteners, coffee with uh, almond milk. Um, I do have a few um, snacks that I'll show you I grabbed recently. I can only have 16 crackers per day, but I'll give you a couple new things that I have found. You're a snacker. Okay. I'm only allowed 16 per day, and yes, I count them. Thank you, Snuggles. <laughs> I don't know if I'm an expert, but uh, I will always give you guys etiquette and elegance tips. My etiquette teacher watches my show and she told me, smaller bites, Margaret. And I have a tendency to talk really fast. I know this about myself. So I have to speak at a pace that sounds like it's incredibly slow because I just want to talk like this. So I have to work on making sure that I communicate effectively. So I'll be working on smaller bites and slowing down so I can be more elegant. <laughs> Herbal supplements. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. All right. Some of my snacks. Uh, Keisha, you asked about snacks. What do you snack on? And I'll see if I can give you some substitutes, but I'll show you what I can have. Just so everyone's clear, I eat mostly lean protein, some uh, low sugar fruits and vegetables, um, very little starch, and like as close to no sugar as I can. Everything that I eat has to be under six grams of sugar. That's the only thing that I actually check. I don't count calories, carbs, or any of that stuff. Um, what's on my list of foods that I can have What's pretty much stayed consistent for me, this is year three, and I've been retested and some things have fallen off. But um, gluten, as much as I love bread and crackers and croutons and rolls and croissants, 
they don't love me back so I can't have gluten that's that dough that's that chewy um, pizza kind of bread pull oh, I love it I can't have it um, cow dairy I've been consistent in testing and some things fall off so I can bring coffee back I can bring um, chicken back I can bring citrus back but cow dairy as much as I love cream um, whipped cream um, milk yogurt all that stuff y'all I had really bad joint pain I was taking pain pills all the time I thought it was just me getting older and I'm older but I'm not old 48 hours after changing my diet the pain went away and I hadn't even lost any weight 48 hours so I eat to stay like pain-free y'all see how I'm moving and the weight is kind of coming off as a byproduct. So this is low and slow for me. I know we don't like to hear lifestyle change, but this is how I have to eat for the rest of my life. Um, gluten, dairy, and sugar. All of us probably eat too much sugar, but those are kind of my main three culprits. From the ground up, cauliflower stalks. Um, Keisha, if you like veggie straws, these are really good. Walmart. I know Snuggle said my camera is no good, but uh, you can see if you like crunchy snacks, these are um, good. Others in the other scholars have tried them and said that they're actually good. They're a nice salty snack. Uh, Ingles, Sam's Club, online, Walmart, but they're made with cauliflower. The veggie straws are made from potato starch. So you're eating a vegetable, but then you're also having more like starches. So if you want to avoid that cauliflower stalk, they also make, love these, cauliflower tortilla chips, believe it or not. And they're actually good. Now, this is the plain sea salt. I don't do the nacho version because they have cheese. So if you need like a Dorito substitute, you can try that. But if you scroll back on my community tab, you will see I do chips and salsa sometimes. So I'll pour a bowl of salsa. I can have 16 of these um, with some plant-based sour cream. I've used them in nachos and a taco salad and they actually hold up their weight really well. Um, they're nice and another crispy snack made from cauliflower. Snuggles, I only speak English and my Spanish is horrible. Um, I need to learn my parents' language. My parents actually speak two different languages. Um, born in Ghana, came to America when I was one, so I'm the daughter of immigrants. Um, my mom and dad met in junior college, and like most immigrants, came to the United States for education and opportunity. Um, because Ghana was colonized by the English, and there's a whole history, y'all know, English is the official language of this African country. But in their local communities, they still speak their dialect. So my dad speaks Chui, T-W-I. My mom speaks Agpafu, A-G-P-A-F-U. When they met in college, they spoke English to each other. When they got married, my mom moved to my dad's um, hometown with him, and she picked up his language. So my mom speaks English, Agpafu, and Chui. My dad speaks English and Chui. A little bit of French. I speak English. I was a typical, like, just wanting to fit in. We came here when I was a baby. They would speak to me in Chui, but I, was, I would answer back in English. So I understand it. I know, of course, the basic greetings and requests, um, but conversational, I'm not. I need to do better. Um, but it's funny, when my dad gets around my mom's people, he's just as lost as we are. Okay, Keisha. Snuggles, I was home in 2020 for a year of return. It was amazing. Um, Keisha, they also have butternut squash cinnamon stalks. I'll let you guys choose. Keisha, I will let you choose. I've heard these taste like churros. Excuse me, I just got these yesterday at Sam's Club, so I have not had them yet. Hey, cigars, thank you for being here. I have not had these yet, but this is made from butternut squash. And then don't gag, but I got these. I have not had them yet. Chicken, chicken and waffles flavored chicken chips made with chicken breast. So it's supposed to be like a chip, but it's made from chicken. Oh yeah. I've done some episodes with Nana. My mom will be on. We're going to make some jollof rice. We're going to make some African food. She's always trying to feed me. All right. So Keisha, if you're still on, 
These I have not tried, but I will try them for you. Pick one, because I can only have one per day. Either the chicken chips or the butternut squash <laughs> chips. Ah, Sophia, your dad is Haitian. I know, I know. Y'all, we really can do better. Our Latin brothers and sisters, they make sure their kids learn the language. Chicken chips? Keisha, you got it. All right, y'all. I bought these yesterday. I was at Sam's Club. I have never had them before. So chicken and waffles, they were gagging yesterday. <laughs> Absolutely, Miss Lady. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. Belle is curious about the chicken chips, too. Okay. This is something, like I'm not hungry right now, but this is something that I would have between meals when I'm not live streaming. I would count out 16. I'm gonna do that for y'all. Well, I'm gonna taste one first. So this is what they look like. I'm gonna smell. It just smells like a chip. So this is what it looks like. I know Snuggle says my camera is no good. <laughs> I'm petty. Um, chicken, 100% natural, no antibiotics, no hormones, contains egg whites, made from chicken breast. Ooh, oh, 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 oh it's good. Y'all. Ooh, now, okay, a lot going on. I like it until the very end. So obviously, the texture. Let me count and close this bag. Hold on, y'all. This is what I do, because I never eat out of the bag. One second. I get a little ramekin and I count out my portion and I put the bag away. Gotta stick to it. One, I've had one. If there are two stuck together, does it count as one? Fifteen, sixteen. So I can kind of eyeball it. My snack portion, I'll show you guys. This is a ramekin that you would put like melted butter in. Hi. This is a ramekin you would put melted butter in like for crab or shrimp. So, all right, let's talk about the chicken chips. Great texture, nice and small. This flavor, you saw it's chicken and waffles. So you probably can't see, I know my camera is no good, but it has a dusting of like sweet. There's only two grams of sugar, so that's good. But it has a dusting of sweet. So when you first put it in your mouth, the first thing that hits is a little bit of sweet, kind of like, are there any sweet potato chips? Like a churro, like if you had something that was dusted with cinnamon sugar. And then you bite down on the chip on the chip and you get a nice, a nice crunch, a nice chew. But when it melts down into your mouth, that's when you taste the chicken, which again is fine, but it's kind of that weird anticipation. Cause if I put this on your plate, you you would think like a chicken, you would think like a potato chip that melts down into like a starch, but it melts down into like a chicken jerky. You're sold. I would buy them again. Putting the bag away. I'm going to keep them out and save them because I still have my um, Mick Thick Griddle. That's what we'll call it. The Mick the thick muffin. 
I think this would be really good like with a sandwich, like if you were having a turkey sandwich or a chicken club or something that already has like chicken flavor in it, this would be a great compliment. By itself, I probably wouldn't eat it by itself just because it brings the chicken taste forward. You're welcome. You're so welcome. I'm so glad I'm helping. All right, let's see what else I missed. You bought a bag of barbecue chicken chips. How were they? Whole Foods, you said? Keisha. I bought a bag of barbecue chicken chips from Whole Foods. They weren't bad at all. Lots of protein. Yeah, I think they said 10, 10 grams of protein. So they've been approved. So I'll definitely tell my group. Um, okay, so I want to finish uh, the last couple stories and drink my coffee and then we are done. I'm going to clean up and get online because I've got some meetings today. All right. Um, so, you know, those of you on, on Weight Watchers, on Nutrisystem, on all this stuff, it all works. Everything works. Keto, you know, whatever, however, whatever works for you, please uh, support all of that. And I've tried it all. So I saw this lady at work who had lost weight and I approached her and y'all know how we do. What are you doing? You look so good. You know, curious, nosy. And uh, she told me that she went to get her gut health checked. I had never heard that before, right? You know, when you've tried everything, you're like, I haven't heard that. And so I got the information and I went to make it, I made an appointment. I went to see the metabolic specialist. Again, Nancy Masood, a beautiful and amazing Lebanese woman. She's got a business here in Atlanta. Link is in the description, lockedinwellness.com. Um, but she sees clients worldwide. And, um, you know, like I shared with you guys, all the weight that I had carried, you know, for years as I was aging was turning into a health problem. I had bad joints, you know, I'd get up in the morning, I'd be limping to the bathroom. You know, I had that knee that you kind of had to shake out after a long commute, you stand, you put weight on it. I was just like, this is not a good look. I like to travel. I like to be active. And it's just like, I'm always the last one pulling up the rear, taking pain pills, started from two to four to six to eight. And I'm like, this is not who I am. <laughs> okay, Snuggles, why don't you inbox me a link that you want me to react to? Because I don't know if I've seen the same thing. Um, excuse me. So I went to the metabolic specialist, made an appointment. She took one look at me and she was like, you know, you're not that big. Your frame is not big at all. You just have a lot of inflammation. And I'd never heard that before. I always thought big bone, big girl, plus size, whatever. None of that is true. Uh, dare I say for any of us, right? There are no big skeletons. Um, and I come from an average size family. Mom, dad, and brother are all average size. I was just the chubby kid that was always on and off diets and just struggling. And then moving out, going to college, you know, graduate, get a job, get married, have kids, get divorced. You know, life happens. And then it's like, the weight problem turned into a health problem. <laughs> okay, thank you, Snuggles. I will I will try to do that for you. Um, yes, weight problem was turning into a health problem. So when she looked at me and she said, you're not big. At my big size, she was like, no, you're not big. Your hands, your wrists, your, you know, your frame, you're not big. I know I carry my weight like <laughs> in my midsection, but like my legs and stuff, like I, I'm, you know, she was like, no, you're not big. You have a lot of inflammation. Never heard that before. So she said, um, you know, we'll do a, a test again. Long Q-tip looking thing uh, on the inside, put it in a tube, mail it off. Some hair samples from the back. Not a lot, just a few baby locks. She's like, I'll call you in a few days. We'll go over your results. I get the phone call. Look at Dexley working for me, <laughs> rolling around. Just in case anybody, so locked in wellness. And so I got this list of foods and you can see, this is printed black and white, but you can see, you know, the ones that are shaded are the ones that I am sensitive to. This is my third time taking the test. First time, 
I got all this stuff on here that I eat every day that I think is healthy. Can't get the weight off. And um, I said, okay, chicken, coffee, dairy, citrus, gluten. I was like, what am I going to eat? Hey, Maya. So I start looking for substitutions. That's where the substitute teacher comes from. Because I, I want to eat and I want to enjoy my food. I know some people are like, yeah, I don't care what I'm eating as long as I'm not hungry. For me, dining is an experience. That's why I go above and beyond presentation, you know, the way that it tastes, how you plate it. That's just me. Completely optional. Excuse me. So I got my test results and I said, okay, I'm going to do this. And I went on like, I guess what you call an elimination diet. You eliminate all the things that you have sensitivities to. So I started substituting turkey instead of chicken, almond milk instead of cow's milk, um, apples instead of oranges, um, tea instead of coffee. I just like, whenever I would go for something, because I'm not going to deprive myself. I'm not going to, I don't eat this. I eat a version of it that I can have. Yes, it is expensive. And I'll, I'll tell you, for me, it's worth it. Um, but I'll give you some other options too. Um, so I cleared out the fridge, you know, I may have store. I, I still have all the stuff for the kids, you know, there's snacks and stuff here, all that stuff. I have regular cheese. I just don't eat it. I made myself a shelf in the pantry. I made myself a shelf in the fridge. I was like, this is mommy's shelf. I actually labeled it mom's shelf. Anything here, do not touch it. Everything else you can have. And so I slowly started eliminating those foods from my diet. Sugar was the hardest. Sugar is highly addictive and highly inflammatory. For two weeks, I was cranky. I was nauseous. I was, you know, just all of that. Once you get it out of your system, it's just amazing how things that are naturally sweet, like that orange that I had, um, taste a lot sweeter. So anyway, um, what ended up happening, um, and she doesn't do just weight loss. If you have other issues, sleeping, whatever, check out her website. Link is in the description. Uh, hormonal stuff, whatever. Uh, all natural. But... Um, 48 hours, two days into my elimination diet. I told you I had this bad knee. I used to play soccer. I had injured myself traveling. And um, I just had this like old injury that I was just like, ah, just me and that bad knee, shake it out and keep walk, you know, walk it off. So I just got used to every day, get up like we all do. First thing, go to the bathroom. And I kind of would like have to hobble over to the bathroom. And then, you know, finally it would loosen up. I woke up 48 hours after the elimination diet, pop up out of bed, do, 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 walk into the bathroom. It didn't even cross my mind. I get to the bathroom and I'm like, I'm not limping. I'm not in pain. <laughs> Snuggles. <laughs> my boys are almost 13 and almost 15. It's been a long time since I'm preg I was pregnant and I am done. Thank you very much for asking. So I'm limping to the bathroom and, um, no, I'm not limping to the bathroom. And I'm like, is my mind playing tricks on me? Now, two days into the elimination diet, you haven't lost any weight, maybe a, a pound or two. So I'm still at my large size, but the back pain, the fog, the bloating, like all of that stuff started to go away. Haven't lost any weight. But all of the symptoms that I thought, oh, I'm just getting older, all of that went away. I was like, maybe there's something to this. Because, you know, I just didn't believe it. I'll just tell you the truth. I didn't believe it. But I was committed to it. I bought all this substitute food and I was like, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to use all of my training and expertise and cooking shows or whatever. And I'm going to come up with some stuff that I actually want to eat. So I did that for about a month. I started in January 2020. Again, the pandemic reset was a blessing for me. I know some people really struggled and I'm so sorry, um, but it was what I needed. It sat me down because I was all over the place. And I told the metabolic specialist, I said, um, we've got this Valentine's Day cruise planned for February. I started in January. I was on it for about a month, had lost about 10, 10 pounds, feeling great, just doing my thing. I was like, look, this trip has been planned and paid for. I'm going. I want to enjoy myself. I don't want to do, you know, any of this stuff on the cruise. Who wants to, 
who wants to diet on vacation? She was like, go. Nancy said, had a great time. Have a great time. We'll see you when you get back. And I was like, mm-hmm, exactly. I was like, she seems a little too eager to just tell me, go eat whatever you want and have a good time. So I went on the cruise. I had it all. I had the pancakes, the syrup, the full sugar, the chocolate, the bread basket. I ate everything. It was just a little weekend getaway, a little weekend cruise. The second day of the cruise, I woke up out of the bed. On my way to the bathroom, I'm limping again. My back hurts. Everything that I had just gotten like whoosh, poof was gone when I changed my diet. When I eat off of my plan, all that stuff comes back. So I tell this story over and over to say what I've learned. And again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a mom and a home cooker who has struggled. Um, I've learned it's not what you eat from time to time. It's what you eat all of the time. So there are some foods that we eat that your body processes really well and you're just humming along like a race car and everything is great. You feel great, you know, just naturally you feel really good. I just can't explain it. I mean, I think that's what you guys see, like the joy and everything that I have. I feel so good at closer to 50, right? Um, and I posted before pictures, they're on my community tab. You guys can go back and see. Uh, feel better than I did when I was pregnant. Thank you, Snuggles. Um, and then there's some food that you eat that your body does not process well and you don't know it. Hey, Marissa. And you're just continuing to eat it because that's how you were raised or that's what's convenient or that's what you like. And your body is struggling. It's just hanging around. It's causing you inflammation, which means if you have like, you know, we have that body part that if you're going to have an issue somewhere, you're going to feel it in your knees first or feel it in your back first, or some people have shoulder, whatever. Um, inflammation makes already kind of wobbly body parts even worse. Um, you may have migraines. You don't know why. You may have really bad eczema. You don't know why. You may have, I'm making this up, hair loss. You may have, um, you know, fatigue. You have to take a nap in the middle of the day. Whatever it is, we all have something and you just think, or I just thought, oh, I'm just getting older. This is what happens. We're getting older. And when I changed my diet, all of that went away. So, you know, wrapping up my, you know, story time, I just continue to say that because for me, that was the light bulb moment. So I know a lot of people, as soon as they find out I've lost weight, they're just like, oh, what did you do and how long did it take? What did you do and how long did it take? And I'm like, pump the brakes. For me, I eat to stay healthy and the weight is coming off as a byproduct. So when I'm done and I get to my goal, I will eat this way for the rest of my life probably about 80% of the time. And then I'll allow myself like a cheat meal or on the weekend splurge a little bit. But I know if I stay eating the way I used to, all of that stuff is going to come back. I have tested it. For me, this is what works. Oh, yes. Road trip and let's try restaurants. Oh, so Keisha, you asked if it's expensive. Yeah, it is. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'd say between 1200 and 1500 but one time and you have lifetime access or I told you I'm this is year three for me because I'm slow. Um, what I love is hiring help because if I could do it on my own, I would have done it by now. I love when I have questions. Now I'm kind of on autopilot, but in the beginning, you know, if I'm shopping and I see something like the chicken chips yesterday, I texted her. I'll take a picture of the nutrition facts. Like I'll take a picture of this and I'll say, can I have this? You know, cause it looks good to me and I'll take a picture and send it to you. And she'll either give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Um, I go in regularly for just, you know, checkups and, you know, little tests and stuff to make sure everything's good. Um, if I'm in a restaurant or whatever, and I'm, you know, she gives me really good tips and advice. She told me about the egg fast. Um, everything is just kind of normalized. So I used my HSA to pay for it. So if you have um, insurance and you have uh, an HSA, like a high deductible savings account, I just swiped that card so it didn't come out of my like household income. But 
you know, and she also can just do the test if you don't want the full program, because I got like the meal plan and everything, because I really wanted to be serious about it. And I'm so glad that it's working. I also tell people, if you don't want to do that, you know, sometimes people are like, I think I may be sensitive. You know, Maria, I'm not going to put your business out there, but Maria had told me, I think I may be sensitive to blank because every time I eat blank, I feel blank, right? Whatever it is. Hey, Mona. Um, Sometimes we may have a suspicion, man, every time I have coffee, it just upsets my stomach. Whatever it is, I don't know. Everybody's different. You can get tested and just have the information and then make decisions if you want to do something about it or not. I know people who've gotten tested and they're like, yeah, I know I shouldn't be eating this, but but at least you know. So for me, I doing, I'm doing Locked In Wellness. There's another company called Everly Well, E V. E R L Y W E L L, kind of like spelling bee, right? They have the mail order food sensitivity kits. I think those are 100, 125. I don't know. They mail you a kit. That one is a finger stick. So you're going to prick your finger and then you have to squeeze the blood out on some paper and um, mail it back to them. And then they give you um, hormones, are part of it too. Um, I'm sure it's a whole thing. I'm here for the, the weight loss, but, um, everything has kind of, you know, balanced out, but you know, as we age, everything changes. Um, but yeah, so locked in wellness is what I'm doing. Everlywell.com. You can do the mail order test. And when you mail in, um, okay, Keisha, when you mail in your, um, I don't think it is sweetheart. You can look this up on Amazon Walden farms. I'll just hold it here for you. But you can um, mail in your blood test results with Everly Well. You can buy that one online. Um, and then they will send you a report of your um, food sensitivities. You may be sensitive to nuts. Who knows? And nothing. So Walden Farms Strawberry Fruit Spread. I'll try and get it added for you. Yeah, exactly. There's it, it changes. That's why I've been retested. Y'all, there's stuff that falls off the list, falls on the list as we age, like our bodies change. You're welcome, sweetheart. Um, you know, you may be sensitive to nuts and you're eating it all the time. And I do want to call out food sensitivities are not the same as food allergies. Again, I am not a doctor. I did find a good link from my fitness pal and I put it on my, um, what's it called? Um, community tab. We'll wrap this up because um, I got to hop on some meetings for work. But um, nothing that I was eating caused me food allergies in the sense that, you know, some people are deathly allergic to peanuts. This is not that. I was eating this stuff all the time and just tossing it back like, oh, yeah, everything's fine. My body was struggling and I didn't know. So food sensitivities are very different. So locked in wellness. Everly well. And then the third one I've heard, I haven't done this, but some people, you can go to your doctor and ask for a full nutrition panel. It may be covered under your insurance. I used my HSA to pay uh, for this service, you know, with locked in wellness. So they do take HSA and they take people worldwide. She has clients everywhere. So that's an option for you. And she does Zoom meetings and, you know, all the support that you need. I needed someone to walk me through this. I couldn't do it on my own. Um, there's a lot that I can do on my own, but I need help and it's okay to say you need help. Uh, and you guys are here to help me. You're here holding me accountable. I only eat twice a day and I live stream when I eat and we, we do the cooking demonstration and then chat and chow and then I work and then I'll eat again today. I don't know. I think we'll do the, uh, Philly cheesesteak. Mmm, skin and belly. Hmm. Yeah. I struggle with some skin. So my skin is pretty good, but, uh, every once in a while <laughs> I have a blemish, <laughs> but, um, yes. So Keisha, maybe your doctor can do a full nutrition panel and it may be covered under your insurance. So you can take, I've even taken the kids because I'm responsible for what comes in the house. So now when I shop, I'm more intentional and the kids, you know, they still eat their stuff, but they eat more fruit and more natural stuff too. Oh Yeah. Oh yeah, belly as in gut health. Let me tell y'all, I have tra a part of a travel group. We've talked about this before. We're getting ready to wrap up. If you have any last questions, let me know because I'm getting ready to hop. 
uh, so I can work. Um, what was I going to say? When I was in Paris, and I don't like cherries, but they had like a road stand market and I got some cherries from the road stand. They were incredibly sweet and incredibly good. And I found out, and hey, look, this is not, I'm not the food police. Start where you can, eat what you have. But in a lot of other countries, their normal standard is what we call our organic standard. They banned a lot of stuff that we have. And just because we eat so much, you know, stuff is grown in a way that is quick and a lot of artificial stuff added to it so it tastes good. So, you know, I have found for me, again, I'm not the food police, please do what works for you. Um, I have found that when you eat less or because I eat less, I can eat better quality. So when you look up some of these ingredients, they're gonna be a little bit more, you know. Um, I try to have like regular everyday stuff, but I eat less of it so it lasts me a long time. So. Have I tried the Walden Farms mayo? Okay, that'll be our last question. I have that and I'll show you. So to answer your almost fell. All right, let's just bring this back up here. So yes, I gotta move my other phone. Snuggles, you see what I got here? Amazing mayo. This is like the Walden Farms um, Miracle Whip substitute. Here I come, Instagram. Ugh. All right. So yes, I've tried it. Um, I use it when I make the crab cakes and as a sandwich spread. It's not bad, you know. It does give you the mayonnaise experience. Slightly more watery because it's an apple cider vinegar base. Excuse me, but it is good. So this one, amazing mayo, Walden Farms. Everything, I use their syrups, their ketchups, cocktail sauce. These condiments have been approved for me. All zero calorie, zero sugar, zero fat. All right, you guys, I am going to hop. Okay, thank you, Snuggles, for the feedback. Yes, sweetie, I would recommend the mayo. Thank you so much for watching. I think we'll do Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers for lunch slash dinner. I'm going to start working and then I will um, schedule the next stream after I get the kids and everybody taken care of. Thank you for being here. If you like what I'm doing, please like. If you, um, thank you, Snuggles. <laughs> Snuggles doesn't give compliments. So uh, I appreciate uh, when you do. You don't give compliments easily. Morning Needs Watches, we are wrapping up. Thank you so much for being here. The Maggie McMuffin, the Thick Muffin, whatever, was excellent. Really, really enjoyed it. So uh, I'll see you guys later today. Goodbye, Instagram. And um, Needs Watches. <laughs> um, goodbye, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. That's okay. Sir, um, I'll be cooking later today, every day.